I think the best example to me is about how to come to terms with the media coverage versus the reality of what a sound Pitbull is about is, is to look at the Law Dogs program. Uh, we've taken Pitbulls from abusive situations, from dogfight situations, um, places where the dogs were not treated well, um, taken them off the street where we don't know anything about their history, and we've taken these dogs and put them with uh, state patrol officers and trained them to be uh, bomb and drug detection dogs. And what that shows me is that when someone stands up and says pit bulls are a bad breed and they're serving their country now and being heroes. So obviously the breed is not the issue. It goes back to again, how are they raised? What are the expectations of the owner? And uh, it's just, I think if you get to know a pit bull, if you meet a pit bull, um, that's in the hands of, of a uh, responsible uh, person that you will be charmed. There's really no other way to put it. You'll be charmed. You'll probably be a little slobbery too, but you will be charmed. In around 2004, I found out that the Washington State Patrol actually had two pit bulls working as uh, detection dogs. One, uh, Bree, was a uh, drug dog and another dog uh, was working the ferry docks as a bomb detection dog. Needless to say, I was very impressed that the state patrol had uh, taken on this breed when there's so much uh, media attention. Uh, at the time I was publishing a magazine on the pit bull and I wanted to do an article um, about these dogs. So I went down and spoke with the trainers and met the dog dogs and uh, and it seemed there was a, a willingness to, to take more dogs. Uh, basically what the State Patrol's stance is, is they don't uh, racially profile on the streets and they don't racially profile in their kennels. And I was, I was just thrilled to, to hear this. So I went home and started uh, looking for dogs. And the first dog that we got, uh, thanks to some, some great people up in Canada, Bully Buddies, um, who helped the dog escaped from Ontario uh, and also uh, some people here in the, the uh, Washington area that, that housed him for a while. Um, Neville got out of Ontario before the deadline where he would have been killed or sent to a research facility and he was the first law dog. He was accepted by the state patrol um, and he is now a bomb dog. Uh, working on the Washington State Ferry System, which is the most at-risk transportation system in the United States. Uh, Neville's a great favorite with the public. He's been uh, kissed by movie stars and gotten to play with uh, uh, Faith Hill's kids, a uh, country singer, and he is quite a, a favorite. Um, after that, I just, I just started looking for more and more uh, dogs that had the specific traits we need for detection work and the state patrol gets these dogs from law dogs for free and so they were glad for that because they pay up to uh, four or five thousand dollars for untrained dogs from vendors and what we do is we give them a package deal we give them a dog that started on uh, the training that's hips have been checked that's healthy and uh, is sound with people so they've been very willing to work with us and, and take these dogs. And uh, to date, uh, we have quite a number of dogs uh, working with the, uh, the patrol and also in various stages of, of training and preparation. What I do is uh, basically we just introduce them to the idea of, of searching. Uh, with, with the young dogs, we take them into a building and we just teach them, first of all, to look for food. They just learn that when they come in and we say, find it, they start looking high and low on the shelves and things and they find their food. We teach them to follow the finger. A uh, detection dog handler's job is basically to direct the nose of the dog up and down. The dog won't normally do that. They'll tend to go along in a straight line. So the handler points up points down, points up, points down, and brings that dog's head where it needs to be. So we teach them to follow the finger, 
and with the older dogs we go ahead and introduce them to scent. Uh, many people are curious how they're trained. Uh, basically these are dogs that have an extremely high drive to play with a toy. So we put their toy on top of a bag containing the scent of either the explosives or the narcotics and the dogs learn subconsciously every time I find my ball there's this, this funny odor and then eventually you remove the ball they, they uh, will indicate hey that's where my ball should be and then you give them the ball so it's, it's all play for the dogs it's all fun for the dogs um, you know sometimes people think that the dogs are hooked on the drugs or that's very false the drugs are very dangerous to the dogs and every, every precaution is taken to keep the dogs away from the drugs um, but we, we go ahead and tra train them up as actually quite far in the, the training so that when they get these dogs, um, they know that they're going to uh, succeed. Well, Law Dogs has a, a website, but primarily um, with police, it's a word of mouth thing. Uh, these dogs are getting a very good reputation here in the, uh, in the, in the Northwest. Um, the word I've had back from the state patrol trainers is that a lot of trainers in the area want to, want to take the dogs, but the administration is reluctant uh, due to media coverage. Um, so slowly but surely as we get more and more dogs out there, and these dogs aren't just average dogs, these are dogs that are exceptionally good um, at their job. So we're hoping that slowly and surely uh, we'll break down these barriers. The American Pitbull makes a, a, an exceptional detection dog candidate for the simple reason that they've been bred for generations to get a job done. And they don't particularly care what that job is. They like to have a job and they like to get it done. And if you um, tap into that drive to find that toy, uh, they will go up, over, through, and uh, uh, they have a, a much better ability to deal with environmental issues than some of the, uh, the more suspicious breeds like the Shepherds and the Malinois. Um, they have a very athletic, compact body. They don't shed, they don't drool, they're not barky. They're, they're really, uh, I would say, the, the best kept secret in, in detection dogs. They, they have an excellent nose. They have a nose that's as good as uh, any of the other breeds. Um, they're just they're just uh, great dogs for them.